Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So it's just been me in the house. You're probably wondering where I've been at. It's just been me and my girl, Fiona. Uh, we just been hanging out, having a good old jolly time. Between that, consuming nonstop consumption. That's been the word of the day for the last several months for me. But now I am back and uh, I'm, you know, I'm actually just gonna take a look at this Britney Renner video. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Somebody sent it to me. They're like, oh, oh can I get your opinion, Big Rob? And I said, you know what? I will ascend or descend. I've been doing a lot of descending. So maybe since I'm uploading, ascend from the place I've been at in that hole. You know, you sitting in the house feeling like you ain't shit. Looking at all the other motherfuckers around you. Just going life, dick in hand, hitting Fiona from the back. You and Fiona having a good old jolly time. Wonder where the fuck your life going? And you just think you just gonna come about to cut, act like everything cool and upload a YouTube video. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So with that being said, we're gonna take a look at this Britney Renner. She, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I feel like with Britney Renner is always something, right? I mean, golly gee. She, uh, her and a nigga? You mean Britney Renner and a dude together doing something? <laughs> yep, so. What the fuck, bro? What am I look like? Yo, dude, dude, come on, man. This is literally nigga shit. This is literally nigga shit. Somebody asked me to, to ascend, descend from the realm I was in, right? From the realm of Fiona and it, to, to talk about nigga shit, essentially. This is nigga shit. When I think about nigga shit, like if, if, I, if I'm not around niggas and I was like, yo, what does nigga shit look like? If I had to, if I had to give it to somebody, boom. And, and they were like, yo, what did I just look at? And I would say, literally, I don't know, nigga shit. I'm, I'm assuming that, um, when I'm taking a look at this, I'm assuming that maybe they were drunk. I don't know. I feel like there's a, there's some context here that I don't, that I don't fucking get. Hold on. We got more. We got more. There's more. We're going even deeper. Do it at Rolling Loud. Is this the same one? This is the same, this is the same shit. They beat this guy up over this? I mean, security more than likely was probably going to beat him up if we being honest. Like, we, I don't know, man. This is some weird shit. I can't play this one, guys. There's a nipple in it, all right? There's a nipple in this one, so I've, I've, I've pre-looked at this, right? I've done some digging. Trust me, there's some nipples in this one, all right? You know, I, I know I don't take this channel all that serious as I should, but I, I don't know if I'm ready to blow it up just yet, man. Like, all right, we gotta wait till XOF comes for the inspection before we blow anything up in this motherfucker. There's another in my And pause. See, at this exact moment, we have to really break down what is going on here. She had this coming to her. Some of you niggas be feeling bad for Paz, bro. Everything that happened to Paz 48 hours up to her death, even and everybody that she got killed behind that, all the XOF niggas that died, all the Fox, Mother Base, all them niggas that died, Lil Chico, I know Lil Chico, everybody, oh no, Lil Chico. Him too, yo, they had, everybody that got killed behind that, that interaction had it coming. There was a lot of grown man decisions that happened. Niggas was choosing Big Boss over, over Cypher? You chose Big Boss over Zero? Gotta go. You chose Big Boss over Skullface? Get him up out of here. Gotta go, right? 
these niggas got to get up out of here. So Paz knew what she was doing. I got so excited that I accidentally messed up hitting the button, man. So like I was saying, Paz knew what she was doing. At the end of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, when she was up in Metal Gear Zeke flying around, playing little Japanese girl sc uh, school music in her bra and panties, shooting missiles and, and shooting machine guns and shit. Everybody had to forgive Paz. Everybody, oh no, little old Paz. Nobody be mean to Paz. Nobody be mean to Paz. Let's just destroy the Metal Gear and then let's fish Paz out the ocean interrogator. No, no, no. Hey, hey, there was a nigga that wasn't Big Boss or Zero that had a better idea. He said, let's get Paz up out, out that ocean and kill her ass. She's betraying. She's a betrayer. Unfortunately, hey, whatever happened to Paz, she did it to herself. All right. So we got even uh, uh, my, my research team, my research and development team sent me some more and uh, we're going to go to Instagram here. All right, man. I want to see. All right. You know, I'm not trying to call this young lady out of her name. But damn, dude, I don't want to see this clip no more, man. I done seen the bullshit. Oh, look on the right side. <laughs> God damn. Oh, damn. Hey, I'm be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm be honest with you. Damn. That nigga got fucked up. They was dragging his ass out, weren't they? I guarantee 100%. I'm keeping it a bean here. Keeping it a bean. We're in keep it a bean mode, right? I don't know if you guys know what that is, but that's a sacred mode here on this channel. So we're going to go ahead and keep that motherfucker a bean. Um, I guarantee if this was Prince of Persia, the first game, the one that Ubisoft trying to remake and it, and it looked like some shit. If this was that game and he had the dagger of time, he would 100% rewind that shit and just let her throw the water in his face and left it at that. Because it's like, y'all, if we being honest, man, I don't think it was right that what Brittany Renner did. I think it was wrong. I think it's immature. I think this whole situation probably more than likely could have been avoided. But alas, it, it wasn't. But I don't know if the dude should be getting dragged out. Like, God damn. They fucked his ass up, man. Held him down, filled him up. But anyways, that's my thought. You guys got to let me know your thoughts on Miss Renner getting into a little uh, spit spat there with uh, some guy that looked like she was flirting with. They... I'm not going to do the tongue stuff, but she's sticking her tongue out. She letting it know that, yo, you can go to the back of her throat. This dude's dick and his drawers is probably, it's probably on a 40, you know. You know, you talking your shit. She doing a little weirdo shit, but you trying to let you know you ain't a punky dick on a 40. You know, you in that visceral mode. You're in that mode where there's some fucking that can occur, right? We can all agree with that, right? That didn't occur, but hey, man. If you, let's just keep it a beam, man. If you got a bad chick and you're a nigga and you're around said bad chick and you get into an argument or fight with bad chick and there's other niggas around, bro, we know how the other apes are going to behave, dude. <laughs> we know what they're going to do. They're going to defend said queen. So is, there's no interaction where you get a ass beaten in public by a bad chick and then you think you go like, I mean, you go, you want, you can get a lick in. If the lick is worth getting stomped the fuck out, two thumbs up to you. Go ahead and get that lick in, bro. But I don't know, man. You talking dental, bro. I ain't got no dental, dude. Motherfucker kick me in my teeth wrong, dude. I'm like, I'm gone. Y'all ain't shit. You ain't even getting this. You ain't even getting this. I may throw some fucking gameplay over this. You may not even be looking at a nigga right now. So it's like, it's like, for real, for real. So it's, these motherfuckers is, is out here fighting people. No, I, it can't be me, unfortunately. And um, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. If she threw the water in my face, shit, I know my, I know my place. I would've, I would've, I would've, I would've did this. She would've threw that water in my, my bitch ass face right here, right? Let's, let me show you what this shit would've looked like. And I would have did one of them, but throwing and trying to get in a little water spat with Miss Brittany Renner and getting stomped out, that wouldn't have been in my future. So uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, you guys know I may upload this and tomorrow you guys are you probably watching like, oh, Rob's back. Rob's back. We're back. Time to go to 100,000. I don't know. That is not the time. So you're not going to get this level of energy every single day. You know what? I don't even like the way shit looking. I may come back with some gameplay tomorrow. I've been lighting niggas up in D2. Somebody need to see that. <laughs> so with that being said, you guys know where to find me. Patreon.com forward slash three little letters. I made it simple. Anybody can get it if you got a regular keyboard. 
RMP. There, there is 310 hours of additional content. Me, me being a sad boy, me, me hating. A lot of that going on in that motherfucker. Just deep in the core. Hate. And some other shit in there. Some streams. Self-deprecation all spread throughout. That, that's your thing. Five dollars. Five dollars. Oh, this, this guy comes back after months and he has the audacity ass for five. You're fucking right. So with that being said, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I don't got no Twitter or any shit like that anymore. Fuck all that. That shit, it, it, it destroys the mind. And my shit has been destroyed far enough. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Everybody have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.